Hey guys, it's Monday, and again, I'm still uh, working two jobs, so we're going to do stuff a little bit different today. I'm going to be doing a tag called the Dear Me Tag, and essentially in this tag, you talk to the camera as if you were talking to your 13-year-old self. Hey, 13-year-old self, we all have to talk about. So that's what this week is going to be. If you don't want to deal with a lot of me and my personal issues, uh, you go ahead and go on, and we'll see you next week. Well, I'll probably talk about comic books or draw in my face. Uh, so I'm going to do that, and it's going to get a little personal, it's going to get a little whatever, but I'm just going to try to, you know, do this tag. And maybe it'll help some other 13-year-olds out there, because Dan did I need help when I was 13. I don't actually remember where I was when I was 13. I think I was somewhere in middle school. I don't actually, I'm really bad with ages. I'm also... I graduated at 17, so it's like, who the hell was I? I think I was either in 8th grade or ninth grade. Either way, I'm going to pretty much be talking to myself as if I was in 8th grade. That, that's what I've decided. Hey, 8th grade self. Good to see ya. Uh, I see you've gotten over dressing like a boy. Very good, very good. Uh, it's good that you're coming into your femininity. But what I want to tell you, self, I want to tell you things like, stop saying things like, you hate women, because you don't. You don't hate women. What you hate is this social construct that uh, society tells women that they need to be. All these stereotypes that you don't fit into, and so you say, I hate women. You know. No, you don't hate women. At a young age, you already hate the patriarchy, but you just don't understand that. Everything that you think that you hate about women is stuff that uh, society just tells women they have to be. So, please stop telling, your, stop telling everyone that you hate women. Just stop. Stop telling people that you hate women. That's not what you hate. You're just ignorant and you don't know anything about the real world yet and you don't know what the word feminist means. I want to tell you stop being afraid to say that you're something besides heterosexual. I know that you're really, you're really afraid to say that, um, but uh, your 20 or 4 year old self is telling you that you are not heterosexual. You don't really know what you are. You don't really have a term besides queer. You're queer, but, uh, yeah. You're not, you're not straight. Sorry, honey. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. And you should probably apologize to, uh, they're gonna name names, but you know who you need to apologize to because you really hurt them because you were too afraid to admit your own damn feelings. Um, and you still regret that, even now, because even your 24-year-old self hasn't apologized to that person. Um, yeah. Another thing, you need to get over, uh, you need to get over being too afraid to drive. It's something that you struggle with for a very long time. I understand the fears that you had. I understand the dreams that you've had of dying in car crashes, but let me tell you, it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, now that I do it, it's like no big thing, and you should get on it early because then maybe mom and dad will have money to buy you a car, and, uh, you won't be stuck like me. Yeah, without a car. That truly very so. What I'm gonna tell what I tell everybody, everybody, just fucking stay in school. I obviously graduated high school, but when I was in college, I made the brilliant decision to stop going to college for a while because I was in this relationship, and I was like, oh, I'll just stop going to college for a while, save up money so I can visit my long distance relationship partner. Fuck you. Stop doing that. I'm not telling you not to go into that relationship because you learned a lot from that relationship, even though it ended badly, pretty much, pretty much ended badly. But you learned a lot. But uh, just stop sacrificing yourself for other people, because now you're 24 years old and it's taken you way too long to get where you have, and you're behind, and you're ashamed of it. So stay, stay in school. Keep wearing that nerd badge, because you're, you're a fucking nerd, as long as you, as much as you can tell behind me. Uh, another thing that I'm gonna tell you that you probably wouldn't believe, uh, you love getting your picture taken now. I know you hated it for a long time. You hated it uh, until you start cosplaying. But eventually, you're gonna love it. Look, you even got like pictures of your damn self on your wall. You can see the fuck. Uh, in English 3, you should probably think about doing that research paper because that uh, kinda fucked up your GPA. Yeah. I mean, you still, you still pass. I know school is really easy for you. Uh, you should probably try harder though. Because you could have like graduated with like fucking honors and shit, but you're too lazy. Because you know, why? Why try, right? I mean, you still don't try in school, so I'm like, 
I'm really just lecturing to myself. I know it's not really gonna change anything, but you should you should just actually try. Because you got good grades in school, A's, B's, besides that English 3. Uh, but you could have gotten straight A's if you would have just applied yourself, actually done all your homework instead of just kind of doing your homework. And if you would have studied this a little bit, instead of just not studying at all, uh, could have gone farther. Oh, and I'm also going to tell you, you, don't be afraid to say no. Because you date a lot of boys in high school because you're too afraid to say no because you're afraid that you're gonna lose their friendship but fuck it, you lose their friendship anyway when you date them and then you break up with them because you don't actually like them and it doesn't matter 24 year old self is telling you that you really don't give a fuck and there are, out of all the boys you dated in, in high school there's only one that you kinda wanna still talk to as a friend but everyone else you're like eh, Fuck you, especially, uh, especially that one, especially that one. You dated him twice. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you, but Jesus Christ, don't just stop. I guess that's really all I have to say. Thirteen-year-old self, mostly stop saying that you hate women. Just stop. It's embarrassing. That was uh, that was dear me, dear me. Uh, most of that was pretty embarrassing. And stuff that I really uh, regret. And yeah, so that was a little uh, insight into my past. Thanks for taking the journey with me. I'll see you guys next Monday for some kind of video. If you have any suggestions, if you ever, ever have anything that you want to see me do, just leave a comment and I'll, uh, if it's something that I think that I would be able to do for a video, I would gladly do it. I'm always looking to do new things on the YouTube channel here. So I'll see you guys next Monday. Oh, oh, before I go. See this shirt? Isn't this shirt sweet? It's my little brother's shirt. I got it for him for Christmas. I decided to steal it. I'm not that hey yeah 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 yeah